Hey, welcome back everybody. We are going to do some smoked salmon on the Weber Kettle Barbecue. I've got some really nice uh, fillets here. These are coho salmon. Um, a neighbor brought these to me. I vacuum sealed these and froze them. I do prefer to freeze them. It helps uh, draw some of that moisture out of the meat. And our mix is going to be a dry rub. So kosher salt, brown sugar. I'm going to use a little pepper and a little bit of cayenne. And you can use whatever kind of seasonings you want, whatever you like. Um, but it's a two to one. So two parts salt, or I'm sorry, two parts brown sugar, one part salt. Dry rub these, put them in a bowl. So let's jump in and we got some pin bones and stuff to take out. So let's get these nice and trimmed up. These are still, they're not totally frozen, um, but they're still just a little bit kind of frosty, I guess you'd call them. They're just a little bit easier to work with. So, all right, on to the next one. We'll just set these in the bowl for, for now. Okay, so I'm going to start with one cup of brown sugar here. We're going to go with a half a cup of the kosher salt, right about there. Some pepper, a little cayenne, not too much, just uh, yeah, about like so. We'll mix this, mix this up really good. Okay, we've got our mix uh, pretty well mixed up here, so I just take a little bit of this, sprinkle it here in the bottom. Then I'm going to start layering my fish in, skin side up. And then in here, layer this right over the top of it. Grab some more fish, skin side up. It's going to look something like this here. And then all we do is just sprinkle this on top. last few pieces here that and then I just take the rest of this and cover everything on the top there we're gonna wrap this with some saran wrap put it in the fridge for 24 hours well actually not 24 hours just overnight Okay, these have been sitting overnight. I was going to get up a little earlier, but I thought I'd give them just a little bit more time. And this is what you're going to wind up with. Lots of liquid in here. So what we want to do is head over to the sink here and get these a really good rinse. Set them on a drying rack and let these tack up for a while while we get the, uh, get the Weber going. So let's give these a good rinse. I like to take each piece and just kind of rinse it individually here and they're going to be quite firm actually I'll just let them sit here in a, for a few minutes in a bowl full of water and we'll pull them out pat them dry and put them on a rack so what I like to do is just set these over here on a paper towel that's just going to help pat the tops a little dry and I just move them over here to the rack I put a little tin foil on there just because sometimes the skin can get a little sticky and stick to the rack so this just makes it a little easier and really all we want to do is make sure that the top the flesh actually gets kind of a, a film on them before we actually smoke them so I'm just going to use the Kingsford briquettes um, I'm only going to light a couple and let it burn across these grates here these baskets that I have so we just get some started here and then let them burn across and throughout the next four to six hours we'll just keep sprinkling chips on here to keep the smoke rolling and trying really hard to keep that temperature down as low as we possibly can get it to go. take a little bit of cooking spray too 
and over toward the side of the grill where I'm going to put my fish. I'll just lightly coat the grate there because the fish skin can really stick to grate. So just a little bit of spray solves that problem. Okay, these have tacked up. I did add um, so a little bit of pepper to this. I'm going to put the thicker pieces toward the front and the thinner pieces uh, toward the back just to try to help even out that cooking. Okay, got plenty of distance here. Very low temperature. Just kind of smoldering away. I'm going to make sure my vent is both vents are wide open at this point, but I'm going to make sure my vent is over here, trying to get that smoke to roll across the uh, the salmon. So these have gone a couple hours now, and I put three just handfuls of chips over the coals on these just to keep that smoke rolling. Not a lot of smoke, just a little bit. So let's zoom in here and take a look, see how they're looking. Uh, this is actually going to smoke a little bit faster than I thought, but they're looking really good. Move some of these back out of the way here just a little bit. Yeah, not too much longer. Maybe only another hour. Okay, we've been able to keep the temperature right around 150, 125. It's kind of fluctuating a little bit, um, but nonetheless, things are looking pretty good. So we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull these off here as soon as the smoke dies down. I threw the final little handful of chips on there just to give it one last smoke. Uh, we're going to pull them out, put them on the, on the uh, plate here, put them in the fridge, let them cool down, and we'll show you what the end result is. So, um, so far, they're looking really good. Really good. That is looking just amazing. Look at that. That turned out so nice. Let's get these in the fridge for uh, an hour or so. All right, we got the salmon done. It's been chilling in the fridge for a while, so we're gonna vacuum seal this stuff up. But before we do that, we should probably sample one. Oh yeah, it peels right off the skin. Oh. That turned out better than I thought. A lot better than I thought. Well, you can in fact smoke salmon on the Weber. Definitely. Alright, let's vacuum seal this. Well, I would call that pretty successful. We got some really nice smoked salmon. Uh, I'll give you a close up here, real quick. These turned out really really nice they're full of full of smoke flavor the mesquite is perfect um, I really like using that recipe the dry rub uh, you can make all kinds of stuff uh, smoked salmon cheese balls cheese spread all kinds of stuff out of this so um, but again I was uh, never done it on the Weber kettle before and so this was kind of an experiment for me but it turned out really really good I'm very happy with it so Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.